Lois with Ozzy Lazzy Knit Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an invisible join in the round. Uh, this is sometimes called foreign patterns and I learned how to do it and I've never looked back uh, because sometimes when we're knitting in the round we can have an unseemly jog in our knitting and who likes that? No one. It just makes it look like, oh you made that. And um, I'm all about that. Oh, you made that? So we're going to learn how to do the invisible join in the round. Um, it's something that I call for in my hat patterns. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So we're going to do the invisible join in the round. And I am using Magic Loop method. Um, but you can do it on regular circulars. It doesn't matter. I just had these already on and I didn't want to change them. So... The first thing we want to do when we're doing an invisible join in the round is we want to cast on one additional stitch. So whatever your pattern calls for, say 40 stitches, you'll cast on 41, okay? It's an extra stitch and this will not affect your pattern at all. So if your pattern doesn't call for an invisible join in the round, you can still do it um, because we're going to end up eliminating this extra stitch. It's just to give us a seamless join in the round thus the name invisible join in the round. So after we cast on that extra stitch, the next thing we want to do is make sure that when we join in the round, we are not going to have a twist. So we can see here that I don't have any twists, but if you do, that's all right. Just fix it before you join in the round. All right. So for step one, we're going to take, um, the last or I'm sorry, the first stitch that we cast on that was a part of that slip knot, and we're going to slip it purlwise onto our right hand needle. Okay, so we'll insert our needle purlwise, slip that stitch over. The next step is we're going to take our left hand needle and we're going to slip purlwise the last stitch that we cast on, which is the extra stitch and we're going to carry it up and over the slip knot first stitch. And it gets real loosey goosey, so go ahead and tighten it, it's fine. And now the final step for this join is we want to take our left hand needle and we're gonna slip this stitch back over purlwise onto our left hand needles so that we're ready to knit into it. So since I'm magic looping, I'm going to uh, pull out because that makes it easier for knitting. And leave me a comment below if you're not familiar with magic loop and you'd like me to do a tutorial on that. All right. So now that we're joined, we're just ready to do our pattern. So we can go ahead and knit or purl or whatever it is that our pattern calls for. What's beautiful about this cast on is that we're not going to have that unsightly jog that can happen so often when we're joining in the round. Uh, when I was first knitting hats, that drove me crazy. And then when I was doing like Fair Isle, that jog would go all the way up, which was so frustrating because, you know, I'm not stupid. I learned very quickly that all I needed was a tag to cover the jog that's in my join in the round. But you cannot have that tag go all the way up your fair isle hat. So eventually it's not going to look so great. Then I discovered the invisible join in the round and I have never looked back because it is truly invisible and then you don't have an unsightly jog and it just works its way up all the way if you're doing any kind of color work there's any kind of any kind of pattern ribbing whatever you will never see a jog and i really love that so i'm just gonna go ahead and knit all the way around so here we are and this is what we've got all right so you can see there's no jog in this knitting and just going seamlessly around. 
Isn't that beautiful? All right, that's it for the invisible join of the round. I think that you can see the, how easy that is. And if you're having any jogging issues, that should probably take care of it. Um, basically for any pattern, I substitute the invisible join in the round. Um, even if you're doing something, you just add that extra stitch to, to join. And so it's pretty simple and easy to do. Anyway, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Aussie Lousy Knits. Facebook, I have a page, Aussie Lousy Knit Designs. On Pinterest, you can follow me as Aussie Lousy Knit Designs. And I have a blog and newsletter, which you can subscribe to, which is www.aussielousyknitdesigns.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And uh, happy knitting.